Hi peeps, let's do this cute little slime today in Nomad Sculpt. As you guessed, we'll begin with adding a cube. Just before you validate, um, you have an option to increase the density of the cube. So this way, uh, you'll start with a very smooth cube from the beginning. Accept it and, I mean to say validate it and then um, start sculpting it. So you'll use a flat brush and smooth brush um, in combination to smoothen the edges of the cube. So use it in combination, um, use it several times and then eventually you'll have a nice cute smooth looking cube. Add another cube um, in the scene. So this is going to be the inside body of the slime. And the reason I didn't duplicate it because I want the inside cube to be less smoother than the outside one. It's one of those creative decision <laughs> that I made here. Okay, so the process is the same. Use your flat brush and smooth brush to again the bevel the edges. So once you have two cubes, um, we'll have to add few more cubes in the scene. So they are going to be eyes and mouth. Okay, so add those cubes, duplicate it to make two eyes and a mouth. You can as well change the color of the eyes and mouth to black so that you can see it clearly. These colors are going to be same anyways until the end of the project. So why not change it now? All right, so as far as the meshes are concerned, we are through with them. Now it's more about adding lights and texture to this mesh. All right, so I've changed it from Metcap to PBR. That way we have option of lights now. Um, just before we add light, what we'll do is we'll change the, the texture of the cube. So I've selected the the bigger cube I've changed the material to, sh to blending and I've changed the color to green you might want to try different colors maybe blue or whatever um, I've reduced the opacity of the cube so it can be more like a see-through cube to give like a jelly appearance um, and we'll do the same for the inside cube as well um, just before that I've selected the rest of the cubes I've simple merge them so that I'm able to separate them again uh, after I place this cube in the center so once I've done that I'll make sure the color of this the eyes and the mouth is black um, so we'll select the inside body same thing I've done here I've changed it to blending option and I've reduced opacity a tiny bit and I've um, changed the color to a little bit darker green so it's more seen um, so I think this is good enough. Now we can add lights. So I've added a um, directional light, which is basically a um, default light. Um, this has a nice shadow. So in order to see that, we'll need to add a plane here. Um, and then we can decide where we want the shadow by changing the rotation of the directional light. I've added a couple of more lights here. Uh, they're going to be the spotlight. So. Um, and I've added one um, light on the top of the slime um, to add a little bit more drama. So I've added two point lights. I've added one spotlight right on the top of the, of the slime cube and I've added one directional light. I've tweaked the colors of the point light a little bit to yellowish and green. Yeah, so this is what I've come up with. Um, I was not very happy with the texture of the outer cube, so I've changed the material to refraction. I've reduced the refraction index to zero. I've used paint glossy, so that way it becomes transparent. And on the inside cube, I've changed it to, to tethering, I think, yeah, and I've reduced the opacity a little bit. Um, now you have to have to play around with um, those parameters of the outer cube 
you can even use the override painting which is just below the absorption um, parameter you can you'll have to tweak that a little bit until you get your desired um, texture of the outer cube so this is what I've come up with I've changed the spotlight color to a little bit green but happy with the result in the end if you want to download the project file you have a link in the description i hope it helped um, see you next time bye